What's up, people? So, I figured I'd do my soapbox. Um, I do not look very good today, but I promise I have a reason for this. I couldn't even put my uh, hair in my own ponytail today, which was fun. I will go ahead and share my lovely story of last night. <laughs> yeah. So, what had happened was... <laughs> So just to give you a backstory real quick, guys, I've been getting my nails done, like this French manicure with the square nails, like super white, thick, whatever. What up, Jay? Art, you made it. Hello. So anyways, I've been getting my nails done for like ever, okay, since I was like 15 years old. I've never actually had my nails taken off and like, you know, given them a breather or whatever. I've literally had them on for years, right? And I'm 33. So do the math. I don't, I'm not going to do the math for you. So just figure it out. So anyways... I've never broken a nail. I'm going to knock on wood even though that just happened last night. Um, but what's up, Capitelli? Um, so last night I'm cooking dinner, right? This is so it's such a mess up story, dude. Okay. So, and I'm a soldier. So I'm cooking dinner like I normally would. My amaretto chicken. And I have the chicken on the stove. It's going. And it's, this is like a tenderized thing, okay? It's like timed, which means like, you can't just cook this chicken. It has to be like timed to a certain degree. And then you got to put like the amaretto in and then it has to like saute. And then you have to like stir it around in a specific way. And then you have to like flip it and then you have to do it again and then flip it. So anyways, long story short, I've got that on the stove, right? I'm got the boiling hot water ready to go for like the corn, right? And I got my roasted potatoes in the oven on broil. So anyways, I'm going to show it to you because this is so messed up. All right. So I'm in the kitchen last night trying to cook dinner. Okay. This is what I get for being freaking domesticated. So there's these little things. Look, look, look. There's these little thingy majiggies on the stove, right? So apparently this nail can fit in that thing. Oh my God. This is so like, I'm so, I'm having flashbacks already. So anyways, this nail can fit in there. Apparently I went to go grab the oven to open it and you know I do everything quick and you know I just I'm hard on everything that's why I get jewelry that like I can bang up and you know abuse because I'm good at abusing things so anyways I open the oven and I like literally open it like this in like less than a second literally this whole nail down to the middle of the nail bed pops off and I start bleeding in the kitchen and I'm like <sighs> so Peter's in the kitchen right now Peter's never seen me like be upset about like really genuinely hurt about something, you know, like ow, and like, you know, like tears coming down my eyes because it hurts so bad. <laughs> Woo, what I tell you, like on a scale of one to 10, probably like mm, somewhere around a good old like 13, okay? I'm gonna put my hair down. It's been a long day. So anyways, Peter's asking me like, are you okay? So John's upstairs sleeping. Of course, you know, because he's sleeping, taking a nap. And I told Peter, I'm like, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. So I take my nail and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Pull the, you know, the paper towels. I start packing up my finger and I'm like, oh shit, I'm going to bleed to death. So anyways, as long as I can get it to clot up a little bit, I know it's going to be fine. Right? So my, you know, really in incredibly smart self decided you know what duh like why would I not just turn on the faucet and run it under the faucet like anything else that's bleeding to death right so of course like I'm totally fine okay well for the moment and I stick my finger under the faucet the minute it hit underneath the faucet and I realized that half the nail was gone I was like <gasps> mm, I'm like cook it dad <laughs> I feel like such a baby so like John comes downstairs the freaking chicken is on the stove and it's like on fire, <laughs> not fire literally, but it's like burning. And then I got the oven open nonetheless with it on broil. The potatoes are halfway out of the stove and like the water for the corn is like overflowing on the freaking stove. There's like a hot mess down here. There's blood on the counter and I'm like, oh, I don't know what happened. And you got the, half, the, head, the nail is on the floor with half the skin on it. I'm like, oh my goodness. So anyways, this is what had happened. See, what had happened was, um, so yeah, this is what happened. It doesn't feel good. Don't ever break a nail halfway through. It sucks. Um, so anyways, you know, I took a shot, tried to numb it out a little bit because that's totally, you know, what they used to do in like this 
50s and 60s and the 70s, 90s, 2020s, duh. So anyways, took a shot, numbed it out a little bit. That helped. Um, didn't quite make it stop bleeding or go away. And um, John was ever so kind enough. So anyways, I'm like halfway through the dinner and I'm like, you know what? Forget this, man. I'm like, I don't even care. I'm like, let me finish this dinner. I'm like, I came this far. It's so like, I'm literally like bleeding in my finger. And I'm like, I don't care about this. I'm going to finish this damn dinner. <laughs> so anyways, that was, um, yeah, that was great. You know, um, and, uh, trying to put my hair up in a ponytail today. That was interesting, but yeah, I'm okay. The finger is still intact. You know, I can't say I'm too happy about having one of these gone, you know, looking all sorts of ghetto running around town with like one little chumpy little nail, but I can assure you that, um, yeah, I should probably get my nails done a little bit more frequently because I can assure you if I probably had them done, that probably wouldn't have happened. But you know, my girls at the office, they like to hold me hostage there. Um, it's a good place for me to be held hostage and you know, they don't let me do anything. I love them, but they don't let me do anything. So anyways, that was my story for last night. That was a lot of fun. Um, and it was a great experience for me to break my first nail in the middle of my nail bed and have it throb for hours off end. So anyways, um, I'll probably take this bandage off tonight and hopefully it'll heal in like a matter of two seconds because I don't have time for any boo-boos or anything like that. Um, outside of that, I know you guys that did tune into my last live, you guys were on here and I kind of, uh, what up Art? Yes. Soldiers, a bottle of whiskey. I'm telling you, John's like, you want a shot? I told him no. And then I went and took a shot. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I mean, yeah, alcohol fixes it all right. Yeah. On my last soapbox, I am in a better mood today. So, you know, I am glad that I could share my inner feelings with everybody. Um, you know, I did have some people text me after that. So, I mean, listen, if I, I, I am going to say this much, okay? And for those of you that don't know me out there, for those of you that do know me, you guys do know that I, if I have a problem with you, I will definitely not hesitate to come and tell you what my problem is and why I have a problem with you. But if I don't come to you and address it, either A, I've been too busy and it's not that important, or B, I don't have a problem with you. So if I haven't come to you and I haven't said something to you, then I don't have an issue with you. Um, so don't assume I mean, I guess ask if you do have any, you know, questions. Um, but I always tell you, you know, if the shoe fits, wear it. So, you know. Anyways, with that being said, we've got all these really, really big things. Um, and it's in the works, you know, and I told you guys we've been super, super busy with all this big stuff that's happening with Titan. So, you know, at this point in the game, I think what has kind of like come over me and it finally feels good to have the, I guess like, I don't, I don't even know the words to be honest with you. Cause I hop on these things. It's not like I think about what I'm going to say before I say it. And it's like planned out. I just kind of just say what's on my mind and tell you guys about my broke ass nail. So, um, anyways, it's one of those things. Like it finally feels good to be able to finally segregate the two and be able to separate, you know, work and personal stuff and be able to address some of the work related things without having like a personal emotion involved. And it's not necessarily that I don't care, but I think it's definitely gotten to the point where I feel like I have to put like my personal feelings aside so that I can address some of these things. Because if we continue to allow stupid things to take place or, you know, continue to allow people to do things that they probably shouldn't, or we don't address something that is like a job that should be done a specific way and it's not being done the way we want it done, then obviously that's a problem and we'll never get ahead like that. You know, when we first opened Titan Medical Center, like, and I was, you know, I have to like start thinking about things like this, right? So when we first opened the business, like what did we do with Titan Medical Center to get it to where it's at today? I mean, I told you guys that we opened the business with $2,000. You know, we didn't open the business and have some like, fairy angel come and drop a basket of money at my freaking front door because that doesn't happen I mean maybe it does I don't know but it didn't happen with us so you had to make do with what you had you know and I kind of was going through some of these pictures like from back in the day of like when me and John worked these events and you know we worked the table like ourselves and we didn't have the money for anything so we literally had like some brochures and stuff like that but we would pass them out ourselves and obviously we evolved over time but i mean you know you gotta sometimes go back to your roots i won't go too deep back to my roots because my roots take me like super super far down into the ground around the bend and whatever 
But, um, you know, I think that sometimes you got to think back at like where you come from. How did you get to where you're at today? Who are the people that helped you get to where you're at today? Who are the people that supported you to get to where you're at today? Those kind of things. It's important that you don't forget where you come from. Um, always stay humble. Make sure that you're grounded because it's, it's so important, guys. I can't express to you how important it is. Even if you're like at a regular job, it's the same exact thing. You got to remember where you come from. And especially as you're growing in life, you cannot forget where you come from. And you cannot forget how you got to where you got in that process because we've been through so much shit. What up, David? Hi, I miss you. Um, you know, we've been through the hell and back, you know, and I think that, you know, sometimes I forget that, wow, we actually been through a lot of shit. Let's, you know, reevaluate some of these things here because this isn't making sense, you know, and just, I feel like I, I feel like we need to just, you know, we kind of need to get a hold on some things. So we're finally getting a hold on some things and it actually feels really, 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 really good. Up to this point for the past couple years, I've been trying to figure out how do I separate these? Like, you know, cause I truly do care about like my employees and our athletes and our people and my friends and my family and everybody, you know, I could genuinely care. But there has to come a point where you draw the line because you need to make some educated decisions on what you need to do. Okay? I mean, it's just the truth. I'm being honest with you guys. This is what needs to happen in life. You know? And, you know, when you're, when you're you know, you got a big old heart, sometimes it gets in the way of what you should be doing, like this, the smart move, if that makes any sense. So anyways, um, I have an appointment with your team at 10, ooh, 10 o'clock. Bright and early. Are you coming to the office, David? You should tell me. Text me, text me, text me. What's up, Tunisia? So anyways, I feel amazing about like just some of the things that we've been doing and some of the changes we've been making. It makes me feel good that we're like getting ahead versus moving backwards. And you know, it just is what it is. You know, sometimes you gotta, I, it just, it definitely resides in me to be very blunt and straightforward, you know, and it's, I'm very good at it. Hi, Becky. So I, why would I not exercise my capabilities of being straightforward and honest and use it towards getting ahead in life, you know? Gotta do what you gotta do, you know? And I'm working a lot of hours. It's not like, you know, <laughs> let's just back this up. It's not like we're the owners of the company. And I get up at, you know, 11 or 12, dilly-dally around the house, you know? have some lunch with my man, take a shower, get to work around three, you know, just hang out and then leave at like five or, you know, go and get my workout in for two hours and then come back. And, you know, it doesn't work that way. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know why it doesn't work like that for me and John. It just doesn't because we're just that involved in the business. But, uh, you know, it just doesn't. It doesn't work that way. So, you know, if I'm going to put this much work in, I'm not going to be stagnant. And I sure as hell not going to let somebody stand in my way of getting to where I need to go. Never have, never will. So why would I not apply it now? This is how I've been my whole life. Why would I not apply these things in my adult life of being an entrepreneur, a female entrepreneur nonetheless? So, you know, just little things I had to share with you. What up, Josh? Yes. Don't filter too much. Just be sweet while you're blunt. Ooh, Justin, it is so hard to be sweet while being blunt. Because sometimes, I mean, I guess I do have a good way of doing it, I think. What up, Jim? I have a good way of being blunt. I'm very blunt, but, like, I'm not super, super bitchy about it, you know? But I will tell you how it is, and it's usually pretty cut dry. And the reason why it's so cut dry and it's, like, black, white, this is what it is, is because I don't have the time to sugarcoat it or to think about it before I tell you. And at this point, I've gotten to the point where I just... I, I just, I just won't do it. <laughs> I just won't do it. I'm too busy. I am too busy. I am literally, ever since Megan got sick and we've been in this expansion, I've literally been in that office from open to close. And not that I wasn't there before open and close, but a lot of times I would even just, sometimes in the morning I would stay at the house and work from the house for like two or three hours because of the simple fact that if I go to the office, I won't get anything done. Like all the things that, you know, would normally, they would find the answer for. If I'm there, they'll just come to me and ask me. So at this point, you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm okay with that. 
you can definitely come to me and ask me and I'll just make it happen, you know? So it is what it is, you know, just put it back into overdrive, do what you got to do. And hopefully I'll be on like an Island when I'm like, I don't know, 36. I'm hoping I'm counting like it's yeah, 36 for sure. Um, <laughs> yes, please bring me some of the, um, I need David. I need the, uh, spray. I need spray stuff for my hair. Thank God. I'm, you know, I have friends that can do hair because, you know, I can't even put my hair in a damn ponytail right now because of my broke ass finger. <laughs> Anyways, um, I love you guys to death. What happened? Getting a personal, dude, listen, Josh, I'm going to be straight up with you, dude. I don't know anybody out there, not as of yet, that could truly handle the heat that I would put somebody through to be a personal assistant for me. And it's not the fact that, you know, that I... I'm like super high maintenance. That's not what it is. It's because I like straightforward answers and I want an answer. I don't want, I would rather somebody say, I don't know, let me find out than like go around the bush or try to come up with something cute or like, you know, try to sugarcoat it and not know the real answer. It drives me nuts. It just drives me absolutely up the wall. Like I don't have the patience, literally don't have the patience for people that cannot, <laughs> answer me. <laughs> it sounds so crazy, but like, I'm telling you guys, it is complicated. There is no way in hell that I would be able to have a personal assistant unless it's somebody that's worked with me side by side and can handle it because I am super, like, I am very much so in your face, like not in a mean way, but I'm in your face. Like, Hey, I need this. 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 Do you have a pen and paper? Have you been taking notes? I'm going to be really mad if you didn't take good notes. Okay. So anyways, I just, um, finding a personal assistant is something I probably need to do at some point, but I haven't quite gotten to the point where I trust anybody to be my personal assistant. So, you know, I, I would have to tell them like, Hey, listen, I need this done. I need this schedule. I need this schedule. I need that schedule. Da, 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 da. At this point, I'm having to step back in all the departments and make sure that they run the way that they should. And it's, it's very, very detailed stuff. Cause if you're not detailed, you either a screw it up or B, you're wasting money. And I mean, who wants to waste money, right? I mean, I literally don't have time for it. I'm being honest with you. The people that, okay, Joshua, the people that work for me, okay, the, especially the people that have been there for a while, like Michelle, Ashley, Nicole, Emily's getting it. You know, Tina's coming around. She's going to get it. Um, Chrissy's getting it. You know, everybody's kind of getting it. The girls, you know, they got to, you got to have tough skin when you work for me. It's because I don't have time to sugarcoat it and make it all fancy schmancy because I'm just too busy. I really am too busy. Like literally I have like 88 text messages plus with the business. Then I have my text messages that are usually like 40 plus. And then I have the emails. And remember there's four different platforms and I'm not counting any of the inboxes for Facebook and Instagram. So I got enough platforms and that's just not even dealing with phone calls that are coming in or questions or issues or, you know, where's this, where's that? What do I do here? What do I do that? Come on. So it is really, really, really important that it exactly Wayne, it's important that it's done right. I haven't found the right person and I'm not going to force it because I just, it, it, yeah, I think it would turn out bad. I'm being honest. I'm like, I'm very specific guys. I, I am. I mean, I, we didn't get that business where it's at today by me not being specific on what exactly I want, you know, even when it comes to the website. Okay. And I'm not going to say like, who's doing our website <clears throat> are you know, kind of know this story, but I'm not going to say anything about anybody in specific. I'm just telling you, like, I shouldn't have to go over what I need from you a million times. Like, if you don't get it, then you just don't get it. And maybe this is just not the job for you. I mean, what do you want me to do? If I got to tell you why, like, if I have to tell somebody, like, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 25, 6, whatever, 39 times, then why am I paying you to do it? Because honestly, I could have probably taken about seven minutes out of my day and gotten it done. And not only would I have gotten it done right, but I would have got it done in half the time and I wouldn't have to pay you to do it. And I would not be frustrated because I've tried to tell you to do it 10 times. Okay. So that is, uh, that's, that's my, my take on the personal assistant, Amanda. I'm sure you can understand just a little bit. Okay. But I mean, guys, 
I mean, it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's very specific. You know, I think a lot of people can do their personal assistance and, you know, they book like flights for them, I guess, and the hotels, or they might book appointments and that kind of stuff. But you know, it's not, I don't know. I guess it's not something that I guess I, it's very specific. I have to make sure it's the right person. And hopefully one day I will come across the right person that can help assist me in the million things I have to do every day because it does get stressful. It does. And you know, I'm very, that's what I'm saying. I don't have time to sugarcoat things. I'm very straight to the point. Like this is what I need. I need this now. Go do it. You have three minutes, you know? And then when I ask for something, you gotta, this is like, this is, I'm going to tell you the secret to all of this. Okay. Behind everything, behind management, behind training somebody, behind running a business, behind anything. Okay. Here's the secret. Are you ready? The secret is holding people accountable. So for instance, if I tell somebody that I need Joe Schmo to be scheduled and I want him to be scheduled for Tuesday at 2 p.m., okay? If I don't follow up with that, okay? And let's just say, the girls know usually when I ask something, it's because I wanted it done 10 minutes ago, not because I want it in, done like in 10 minutes. It's because I wanted it done like 10 minutes ago even though it's like 9 a.m. when we just opened, okay? But I mean, in all honesty, I, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's you got to hold them accountable. If you don't go back to them and make sure that they did what you asked them to do, then if they don't go through with it, then, then you got to deal with it, obviously. But then they'll never think you're going to go back to them and actually hold them accountable for it. So you have to go back to them and hold them accountable. It's very important. It's so important. Got to go back and be like, hey, did you do that one thing I asked you to do? And, you know, the answer is going to be yes or no. And then usually, I'm going to be honest, before I ask them, I check to see if it was done. And now everybody that works with me knows that. So they don't lie about it. They don't sugarcoat it. If they didn't do it, if they forgot, they'll just be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry I forgot. You know? So if they, and if they didn't do it, they get their ass rammed, you know? And if it continues to happen, then they get written up. And if they get written up X amount of times and they're out the door, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately. I mean, that sucks, Amanda. But I mean, at this point in the game, you got to do it. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> you got to do it. It's the only way, guys, especially when you run a place where things have to be ran tight niche like that. I tell people all the time, I'm like, we're not selling pizza. You guys mess up somebody's order. You guys are going to be in a bigger situation than messing up a pizza, pizza. So if you want to go mess up orders, I mean, listen, guys, let me just, let me calm down for a second. I honestly, guys, okay, honest to God, I do know that we're human beings. I don't expect for anybody to be perfect by any means. I'm not perfect. I mean, I'm super close, but I'm not perfect. But there is a difference between being negligent and lazy versus making a human mistake. I mean, you guys have to admit, right? I mean, come on. You guys have to admit, it's, there's definitely a difference between the two. You know, because you got people that are just lazy. They're just being lazy and they just didn't do it the right way. They have the protocol laid out in front of them that you need to do call B, C, D, E, F, G, and they only called B, C, and then skip to F. Well, then that's why you missed it because you didn't follow what I told you to do. I know, I'm tough, I'm tough. But... <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't be successful unless you're able to run it like that, you know? And at the end of the day, everybody gets a cupcake and a hug and a kiss and go home, you know? Just a hug and a kiss and a cupcake. So <laughs> it does feel good for once to actually be able to apply this and not feel absolutely horrible about it every day when I go home. Because listen, in all honesty, we take damn good care of our people, like across the board whether it's a friend or, you know, a family member, or maybe it's, you know, an employee, even if it was an ex-employee, I mean, athletes, models, promo girls, everybody, we take very good care of our people. So I'm never going to feel bad about it. You know, it just is what it is. So yes, I'm a tough cookie, but got to be able to run it. You know, it's just what it is. So anyways, I am gonna sign off here soon because I have to go get some sleep and uh you know go rinse this bad boy out you know you know definitely guys make sure you stay up to date on your nails and uh yeah 
Make sure you don't stick it in little holes of the oven and snap it in the middle of the night while you're trying to cook dinner at 10 o'clock for your two boys, okay? That's never fun, okay? <laughs> I literally, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I definitely cried last night and I don't cry. <laughs> I don't cry over anything. So like, I don't, I, I don't know, I think it was just the fact that like, I just, I was so frustrated and I had food going on the stove and like I had the oven open and then, you know, Peter's down here and he's looking at me and he's like, mom, are you? okay and I'm like I'm fine and I have my finger under the sink and I'm like it's fine and of course I put her in the sink and it was like oh shit this hurts so anyways you know John came down here to the rescue I'm like get me a pressure bandage immediately so he went and got me a pressure bandage and you know we put that on there and that was fun this morning because you know Listen, I had to put something on there to get the bleeding to stop, right? So you can't put on there something that's a nonstick pad because then it won't stop bleeding. That's a fact. So you had to put a piece of gauze on there. Of course, the gauze stuck to the cut, and then I go to take off the gauze this morning, and boom, it's bleeding again. So I think I'm just going to go upstairs, and I'm going to go soak it in some water, and, you know, just suck it up and take it like a champ. So anyways, um, what up, Matt? See, I got to talk to you today. I was just talking about how, you know, I got to run this place like a military camp. You know, I'm just, I got to do it. And you know what? I just happen to have a forte to be able to do it and do it well. So I shall exercise my skills. Right, John? Anyways, guys, I'm going to sign up because I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to keep going about this. This is crazy. But yeah. If you guys ever needed some advice, I may not answer you right away because I'm busy, like I told you, but you are more than welcome to write me. I'll be more than happy to give you any advice that you're looking for as far as, you know, maybe how to apply yourself a little bit more, you know, or maybe how to handle certain situations. Because listen, owning a business for seven years, and then obviously I've been in the medical field for what, 15 years. I mean, I've seen, and I've been through a lot and I've been around a lot of people and I've been around, honestly, I mean, working side by side with doctors, they are assholes. Most of them, they are not nice to you. So I have been built this way. They have, you know, I make one tiny mistake and I get my face chopped up in a little tiny pieces. And guess what? You just have to take it. You just have to sit there and take it. You have to. It's what it is. Any of you nurses out there are going to know that. Anybody in the medical field, you're going to know that. Anybody I'm telling you, just got to do it. Is what it is. Yeah, Justin. I mean, I'm sure you do this to your people. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not everybody's mean. But guys, in the bigger reality of things, usually if you're running a medical practice or something, you're going to be pretty straightforward. So anyways, I hope everybody has a wonderful night. Happy Soapbox Monday. And uh, yeah, I wish that this gets better with some Neosporin and a Band-Aid. I'll get it fixed soon, I'm sure. All right, guys. See ya. Bye.